If you want to know some new cat facts, this Animal Wise video shares a compilation of curiosities about cats that may surprise you. Let's see which ones you don't already know. People have an innate tendency to humanise the behaviour of their pets. We look into their eyes and give voice to their inner monologues, but are we always correct? What do we know about a cat's behaviour and what do we think it says about us? In this new Animal Wise video, we explain if cats can feel hatred towards people and what signs they might give to convey such negative feelings. Although cats can show some animosity towards people, the truth is they do not experience feelings of hatred as we understand it. There are three main reasons which can cause a cat to hate a person. Socialisation, negative experiences and traumas, learning. If we have not started socialising our cat since they were a kitten with other cats, children and adults, it's likely the cat won't be able to relate correctly with others. This can lead to fear, anxiety and aggression. Negative experiences can lead to trauma and are also a reason some cats may not be able to tolerate certain people. Finally, learning plays a key role in the development of certain feline behaviours. For example, if our cat knows that through biting we will leave them alone, they are likely to do this any time they don't want to be petted. On some occasions, we can observe that cats hide from us under the sofa or in the closet, making them almost impossible to find. We might notice that the cat hides when people come near, if we also observe a bent body posture with a lowered tail, ears back and very dilated pupils, it is likely our cat is afraid. Fear can be caused by lack of socialisation or traumatic experiences as we have already mentioned. Similar to the previous sign, we also need to talk about cats that change their behaviour towards humans. We can see that cats shun certain people, leaving the room when someone enters or does not relate well to particular members of the family. It's common for these family members to feel as if they are no longer loved by their pet, especially if they now refuse to sleep next to them or show any affection. It is also likely the cat will avoid looking directly into people's eyes or prevent themselves from being handled. This break in relationship can occur for many reasons, but one is mishandling by the guardian. Not understanding a cat's body language, forcing them to do something against their will, or punishing them are some ways you can put distance between you. Hissing, grunting and yarling are some of the cat's vocalisations which indicate discomfort and or displeasure. It's very likely the feline manifests them when we annoy them, scold them or do something they don't like. It's their way of warning us and it's important to pay attention and stop what we're doing. The cat may also whip their tail rapidly to show irritation or displeasure. We might also observe the cat holding their tail high as a warning signal while folding their ears back. In these cases, it is imperative we spend more time with our cat, getting to know their likes and dislikes so we can improve our bond. If we ignore these warning signs, it's likely that the behavioural problems will worsen. It's easy to see why your cat attacking you might be a sign they hate you. Along with biting and scratching, we may observe the cat shows dilated pupils, a very bristled coat, and the ears folded back completely. It's never at all pleasant when a cat attacks a person, but it can be particularly bad if we live with small children or vulnerable people. It's important to note that aggression in cats is not a problem which should be ignored. If it is also difficult to predict when a cat is about to attack, a visit to a veterinarian specialising in ethology is essential. These all indicate high levels of stress, anxiety and even a potential health problem. The appearance of strange behaviours such as excessive grooming, constant vocalisation or spending too much time asleep should be a warning to us. It's abnormal for a cat to display negative behaviour towards their tutors or to change their behaviour suddenly. We should remember that behavioural changes can also be caused by health problems. Before suspecting your cat hates you, we recommend a visit to the vet in which the specialist can rule out hormonal problems, pain or other health issues which might be the root of such behaviour. Now that you know these five signs your cat hates you, you might be able to see your cat is not being personal but there are problems either in your relationship or their health which must be corrected to engender more positive behaviour towards you and people in general. Before suspecting these warning signs are due to a behavioural issue, 
you need to go to the vet to rule out an underlying health problem. Only then can you start working on the behaviour of your cat and improving your bond. Hello, welcome back to the Animal Wise channel. In this new video you will discover just how much you know about your cat and what they really like. Apart from boxes needing or chasing things, could you list another 10 things they love? Let's get into the video. Sleeping is by far the ultimate favourite activity for most cats. Although it is normal for them to sleep between 15 to 16 hours a day, some may spend up to 18 hours sleeping. Avoid bothering them during sleeping hours in order to avoid stress or harming their welfare, especially if they are just a kitten. The hunting instinct is innate and fundamental to ensure a cat's survival. Although some owners may even scold cats when they discover they have hunted a bird, the fact is that this reaction is not effective at all. To cats, this behaviour is exciting and natural and impossible to completely eradicate. Clawing and scratching is another instinctual activity of your feeling and, therefore, another thing that is very necessary for their welfare. Cats scratch for fun, to sharpen their claws and to mark their territory. We know that this behaviour can become a problem though, so we recommend leaving several scratching posts around for them. Cats love warm and comfortable places and it is not uncommon to find them basking in the sun's rays. All the cat is really looking for is heat, so it is common to find them napping next to heaters, laptops or even ourselves. Contrary to what many people believe, one of the things that cats adore is to receive affection. While it is true that some cats are more affectionate than others, most greatly appreciate the affection. To prevent a scratch or bite, we recommend to pet them only when they look for you to do so and do not force it upon them. Cats love watching the world from their windows. They can spend hours on end watching people, objects blowing in the wind, insects, everything. Especially if they spend many hours alone. We recommend opening your curtains or blinds and providing entertainment indoors whenever possible. It's no secret that cats love food. Some cats will eat without being hungry. If you want to keep your cat healthy and happy, ideally you could regularly change their diet slightly by introducing small treats into their normal routine. A small portion of cat friendly pate or a homemade recipe can be excellent to enrich their day and make them feel loved and cared for. Instinctively, felines, both small and large, often sleep in high places. This is in order to prevent any surprise enemy from catching them off guard. This is a behaviour that the house cat has inherited. The main difference is that they not only like to sleep at large heights, but also to observe everything that happens around them. If you have a garden with trees at home, let your cat out to climb if they feel like it, always under your supervision to avoid them getting hurt. If, on the other hand, you live in an apartment, a multi-level perch lookout will be ideal for satisfying this desire. As you can see, not everything in a cat's life involves nap time. When not eating or sleeping, cats love to play, no matter how old they are. Either with other cats or pets and their toys, with you or any intriguing object, playing is really important. As well as buying or making toys for your pet, we recommend you spend a lot of time with them. That will make them happier than a thousand toys. When you have a cat, it is easy to see that, although they enjoy their own space, they also love to be with you and other members of the family. Many people hate cats claiming that they're selfish beings and unattached to their owners, but you've obviously never had one. Cats have different ways of showing their affection, perhaps they're subtle ways that can go unnoticed by some people. Have you noticed your cat trying to snuggle close to you before you sleep? Do they greet you at the door when you come home after a long day of work? Do they sometimes lick you? These are just some signs that demonstrate the love your cat has for you and how much they love being around you. Now that you know these 10 things that cats love, make sure your cat has the opportunity to enjoy them all and you will live a happy coexistence. Knowing both what your cat needs and what they need to avoid is essential to making them happy. For this reason, in this Animal Wise video, we explain 15 things you must avoid when having a cat in your care. Fail to respect the basic freedoms of animal welfare. Welcoming a cat into the home requires a great level of responsibility for ensuring their welfare. This means keeping them free of thirst, hunger, malnutrition, pain and disease, all while letting them express their feline nature without fear or stress. Not taking them to the vet. 
Even if your cat is well, you should take them to the veterinary clinic for a yearly preventive check to verify their health and bring their vaccination and deworming schedules up to date. Also, if you observe a sudden change in behaviour, you should take a cat to be checked before a health problem progresses beyond help. Punish or scold them. As much as there are situations that make you lose your patience, punishment is totally contradicted if you want to educate a cat. Your cat does not understand the reason for your anger, so they can begin to distrust and show rejection towards you. In addition, they will suffer stress and therefore, you will only make the situation worse. Not paying enough attention. A cat is a playful social animal that needs exercise. Therefore, you need to spend time every day either to pamper them or play with them. You must spend quality time together practicing activities that stimulate them cognitively and physically. Otherwise, your cat will be bored and accumulate a lot of energy, making them irritable, stressed and develop behaviour problems. Here we share a video in which we show you five games to entertain your cat at home. Not respecting their boundaries. Even if you don't do it with bad intentions, it is likely that sometimes you will be too affectionate with your kitten to the point of overwhelming them. Often the best way to show your cat that you love them is by respecting their limits, understanding when they are receptive to pampering, when they want to play, and when they want to be left alone. Perform an onyectomy. An onyectomy is a surgical procedure which involves amputating the last phalanx of each of a cat's paws to remove the bone, joint, nerves, and blood vessels. It is also known as declawing and is done with the intention of removing the claws so they do not perform behaviours people consider annoying such as scratching us or destroying upholstery. It is a cruel practice with serious negative physical and psychological repercussions for the well-being of the cat. You should train them to redirect these behaviours and use appropriate tools such as scratching posts or toys. Humanise them and not let them be a cat. If you try to relate to a cat from a human perspective only, many misunderstandings will arise which confuse and harm them. Their needs and ours are not the same. This is why you need to identify whether your approach to care and treatment is appropriate from a feline perspective, not your own. Also, you need to understand that a cat has certain needs specific to their species, such as scratching, playing, meowing, etc. Through appropriate guidance and positive reinforcement, you should redirect these behaviours into appropriate activities. Enjoy making them feel bad. Many people find it amusing to put their cats in compromising situations to get a reaction, often scaring or hurting them in the process. These range in cruelty, but even some which seem like a game can be harmful. For example, playing with a laser pointer means the cat will never catch the light which can cause serious frustration and confusion. Abandon them. Some people are simply too irresponsible to adopt a cat. When they get tired of them, they simply abandon them to nature. Many of these animals die as they do not know how to survive or end up in a shelter and have difficulties in being rehomed. Don't educate them. Education is an essential part of a happy coexistence with cats. This way, cats don't learn habits which can cause a nuisance such as biting or scratching furniture. With proper guidance and positive reinforcement, cats can learn the rules of a home and behave appropriately. Here we share a video in which we give you tips to get along with a cat. Smoking while with them. Smoke is very harmful for a cat's lungs. They can develop serious health problems if they inhale it constantly. Furthermore, with their need to groom regularly by licking, they can ingest toxic particles from the cigarette which settle onto their coats. Treat them like a toy. In some homes, cats are brought in to be a plaything for children, as if they were little more than a stuffed toy. This is why it is necessary to explain to kids the importance of respect for animals, as well as supervising play sessions. Give inappropriate food. Sometimes you may feel like pampering your cat with food, especially if they give you longing looks. However, giving cats inappropriate food, such as chocolate, cookies or other types, will harm their health, especially in the long term. If you want to offer your furry friends something more suitable, you can buy them different treats, wet foods or other ingredients which will not harm their health. Expose them to loud or annoying noises. Cats have very sharp hearing, so it can be very stressful if they are constantly exposed to loud noises. Therefore, your cat should have an area in the home where they can rest quietly without being exposed to loud noises. Similarly, it is not advisable for your cat to carry a bell as this sound can bother them. Dress them up with annoying accessories. Thanks to specialist stores and the internet, there are more and more options to dress up your cat. 
If you are thinking of purchasing any of these products, spare a thought to what your cat will think. You should never dress them up in items which are uncomfortable or harmful to them. Before buying an accessory for your cat, always make sure it does not hinder their mobility, prevent them from grooming, or cause any physical harm. Now that you know what you should not do with your cat, do not hesitate to continue investigating to know what you can do to promote well-being. Many people think that, due to their independent nature, cats don't need much to be happy. Even those who have lived with cats may have this incorrect perception as it can seem they have only simplistic needs. However, there may be more to the necessities for a cat's well-being than many think. In this Animal Wise video, we are going to talk about the basic needs of these precious animals and give you the keys to understanding how to make your cat happy. Like us and all multicellular organisms, cats need to be well nourished to feel good. Adequate nutrition to meet the needs of the feline is essential to prevent diseases common to the species. Although it may seem obvious, it is important to remember that if you choose a commercial feed, it needs to be of good quality to get what's best for your cat. There are numerous scientific studies which prove a good diet improves the general condition of the cat, the quality of their coat, their skin, eyes, etc. And if you prefer to make a homemade diet, keep in mind that cats are ob obligate carnivores and need to consume a greater amount of protein in the form of meat and fish. And don't forget the importance of having plenty of clean fresh water available at all times. Regular visits to the veterinarian are essential to prevent and detect the presence of disease. The earlier the detection, the better the prognosis. Additionally, it is important to follow the vaccination and deworming schedules recommended by your specialist. You've probably already noticed the amount of hours your cat spends licking itself. Cleanliness plays a fundamental role in the life of every feline, and without it, they will not be happy. Cats can't stand dirt on their fur or in their environment. A disorganized home, lack of hygiene, neglect of their litter box, etc. can seriously upset their well-being. It is recommended to brush long-haired cats daily and to clean their litter box too. There are some cats which are more sociable, some which are more solitary. The latter might be the kind which hide every time a new visitor comes into the house. For this reason, you shouldn't force your cat to do something they don't want to do especially when they are afraid. Respecting their peace and privacy is essential to ensure their happiness. The more you force your cat, the less they will want to stay by your side. This is because they will start to associate you with negative stimuli. They will then begin to associate the things you like as things they don't like. Cats have a specific body language with which they can communicate with animals and us humans. Learning to understand this body language is essential in knowing what it is our cat wants to tell us at all times and how we should act accordingly. Cats are natural hunters and need to express this natural instinct through play. You won't need to invest a lot of money to do this, as you can make your cat happy by crafting homemade toys or playing games at home to keep them entertained. The important thing is to offer the animal a varied range of toys which stimulate them physically and mentally. Also, you will need scratching posts, posts, shelves to let them walk at a certain height, and anything which can help them replicate their hunting behavior safely. Most people think it is enough to put some sand in a box without thinking about how important it is to choose the right type for each animal. Cats are selective creatures with personal tastes and preferences. It's essential to get them the products they feel comfortable using or they will do their business elsewhere. Unfortunately, there is no one box which is better than another since every cat is a world onto their own. What is universally accepted is that the box needs to be twice as big as the animal so that they can move freely and not feel uncomfortable. As for selecting the right type of litter, felines generally prefer those with finer grains and which have no perfume. Do you live with more than one feline? If so, did you know that it is ideal to have more than one box? According to experts in feline behavior, it is advisable to have one litter box per cat with one extra on top. Cats are territorial animals as well as being very neat and possessive of their belongings. Sharing something as important as their toilet can lead them to not using it. Although we think of training as limited to dogs, cats can also be educated. Positive reinforcement is the ideal method to guide your cat into certain behaviors. You can even train and teach them to do tricks. 
By rewarding the animal with treats or affection each time they behave properly, the cat relates the action or attitude to something good. This makes it more likely to repeat this behavior again in order to increase the likelihood of a reward. Punishment and yelling are not the solution. They cause the animal to associate us with negative stimuli. They can even develop problems they would not otherwise have had. Many cats are very independent animals, it is true. But all they need is love, affection and attention from their fellow humans. You should spoil your cat when it is appropriate and don't neglect them when they come looking for attention. They are very sensitive animals, observant and have a good memory. Any inappropriate behavior on your part will not go unnoticed and it can cool the relationship between the two of you. If you have one or more cats, you'll likely have experienced this situation. Your cat is licking you peacefully, then suddenly they strike. What happened? Did they not like the petting you were giving in return? What is behind such capricious behavior? At Animal Wise, we explain both why it happens and what to do about it. Even with experienced guardians, it's not always easy to understand what our cats are trying to say. Therefore, it's essential we learn about ethology, consult our veterinarian about any doubts, and above all, be attentive to our cat's body language. What do biting and licking mean? There's no single way to interpret the licking and biting of cats, not even when they occur at the same time. This is why we'll try to explain in detail the purposes behind these behaviours, both of which are characteristic of the species. But before explaining more about these behaviours, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to know everything about the animal kingdom. Why do cats lick? When a cat licks us, especially licking our hair, they are carrying out grooming behaviour as they would to another cat. It's a very positive social behaviour which strengthens a bond with the owner and shows a desire to make us feel more comfortable. Cats also lick as a sign of affection. On the other hand, excessive and intense licking can mean that something is not going well, indicating stress and anxiety. And why do they bite? As with licking, biting can have several meanings. They could be plain or angry. Very scared or angry cats display a very expressive, constricted, rigid and bristled body language. This is usually accompanied by hissing, warning meows and curved backs. Biting in this instance is not the same as biting carried out during play. It takes place when they get out of control. They may also give warning bites to ask us to stop bothering them. Biting may also show affection, but only with more controlled and repetitive nibbles. So why do cats lick and then bite? Some cats can bite after licking us as a warning signal to stop petting them. Others may do it as a continued sign of affection, while some yet might do it as part of grooming behavior. When cats clean each other, they lick and nibble to ensure thorough hygiene, meaning it might be completely normal for our cat to bite us a little when grooming us. In these instances, it is completely normal and typical of the species, not a negative behavior. What to do if the cat's bite hurts? It may happen that our cat, by biting us, hurts us. What should we do then? The first thing we must highlight is that under no circumstances should we scold them since despite an unpleasant situation, our cat is carrying out normal social behavior. Ideally, after they bite us, we should withhold interaction and attention. If we are consistent and always follow the same pattern, our cat should eventually associate biting with the end of an activity they enjoy. They should learn to stop biting if they want to continue their fun. We should also remember to reinforce positive behaviours with encouraging interactions. If you want to know more about cat behaviour, check out this video on why cats need us. If you share your home with a cat, you will well know they exhibit some strange behaviours which pique our curiosity. For example, many cat caregivers wonder why their felines roll over and show their belly to them, even though they don't like being petted there. Does this happen to you? Let Animal Wise explain. To understand what it means when a cat rolls over and shows you their belly, we need to better understand a cat's posture and how they affect communication between other cats and people in their environment. More than humans, cats use their body language to express mood, opinion and perception. Usually, when a cat leaves its belly exposed or sleeps on its back, it means that it experiences a moment of relaxation and well-being. 
Of course, a cat only adopts this position in a safe environment and in the company of people with whom they share affection and trust. So, if your cat lies down belly up beside or close to you, this is a sign they feel very comfortable with your presence. They think of their home as conveying the feeling of safety and well-being. Additionally, if your cat sees you or greets you lying down and shows you their belly, it's a friendly posture to get your attention and invite you to interact or even ask for something. Your feline wants to play and share a good time with you, but you should not interpret this as an invitation to pet them in this region. In fact, most cats do not like their bellies touched, as it is a very sensitive part of their body. Eventually, your cat may also roll up into a ball, stretch out its back or rub against you. These are natural behaviours that express pleasure and relaxation. This behaviour can also occur if you offer catnip to your cat, as it acts as a powerful stimulus to their senses. However, if you notice that your cat continually rolls over as if to scratch themselves, it's important to be alert. Itching may appear as a symptom of an allergy, external parasites or even disease. Therefore, don't hesitate to take them to the vet if you see this behaviour being repeated constantly and or compulsively. That cats don't like kisses or being petted on their bellies doesn't mean they do not enjoy receiving pampering from their caregivers. It simply means that being touched in such a sensitive region makes them feel vulnerable and generates negative feelings. These can include insecurity, stress and fear. Feeling threatened, cats often adopt certain defensive behaviours to preserve their well-being, such as scratching and biting. A cat exposing their belly is not treacherous behaviour. The cat does not roll over with the intention of deceiving you, then attack you when you come close and touch their belly. Instead, cats transmit several signs of discomfort and even anger before adopting such defensive behaviours. We may just need to pay attention to the signals. If your cat has their ears pulled back, they have a crumpled body, their facial expression is closed and or their tail is moving and bristled like a brush, this is communicating anger and possible attack. In general, cats love to be petted on their head, chin, nape of neck and back. However, each cat is a world onto its own and it's impossible to establish a manual on how to please caress or pamper every single cat. To best know where and how to pet your cat, you'll have to know their tastes and identify their preferences. This is precisely the best part of living with cats. Spending time with them day by day and discovering their personality, they will surprise us with their skills and learn to improve our bond with them completely. Are you determined to adopt a cat? Do you already live with one but think you're making some mistakes? Cats are very affectionate and funny animals, which can bring much happiness if you know how to take care of them properly. Although cats are relatively easy to care for, it is important to know what the typical mistakes are when caring for a cat to avoid unwanted behaviour. Therefore, in today's Animal Wise video, we will explain the top 7 mistakes cat owners make. Unlike dogs, cats in the wild are solitary hunters and although they can form social groups with definite hierarchy, they are generally more independent than dogs. Therefore, and although there are cats that are much more submissive and affectionate than some dogs, if you are looking for an extremely faithful animal companion that shows unconditional love and obedience, the cat is not the right choice. In this case, it is better to adopt a dog to avoid disappointments and frustration. It is only when cats actually seek human companionship and affection that they want attention. Cats are harder to train than dogs. Creating a bond with your pet is fundamental and this is why it's important for the cat to see their human as something positive and associate their presence with good stimuli. Well, with dogs you should use clear, current and simple orders. To educate a cat it's necessary to gain their trust first. Playing regularly with the cat and correcting them when they have done something wrong with clear orders and without using violence or force is essential. One of the most common mistakes is to adopt a kitten shortly after birth. The ideal is to do it once weaning ends, which should occur naturally and never before they reach one month of life. Even if they receive all the necessary care and proper nutrition, it is always better for the animal's health to be with their mother throughout the lactation period. With the mother and the cat's siblings, socialization begins and the cat begins to learn all the typical behaviours of their species. Another common mistake when caring for a cat is not to provide them with vet attention by thinking that as they don't leave the home, they can't catch any diseases or have parasites. The risks of a cat that lives in a house are not the same than for a cat that has access to the outside and this is why there are protocols of specific vaccines for each one of the situations. 
consult with a vet, and define a vaccine schedule that is adapted to your pet's characteristics and lifestyle. Regarding deworming, it is recommended to deworm internally every three months and apply a monthly anti-flea product, mainly in the summer months. Breeding season for cats can bring some behaviours that may seem uncomfortable for humans, in addition to some dangers to a kitten's health. It is in spring and summer that cats are in heat for about a week. In this period, many males try to escape when they perceive that there is a female cat in heat nearby and can even be aggressive with other males. Castration decreases their behaviour and its associated risks. Cats that have outdoor access must be sterilised. Otherwise, it is very likely that in a short time they will have numerous and most likely unwanted offspring. In general, there are not many mistakes made in relation to a cat's feeding, but one of them is not using a specific product to avoid the formation of hairballs in these animals' stomach. Cats are very clean animals, which are groomed regularly and can ingest large amounts of hair, so they can form hairballs and cause vomiting and diarrhoea. Fortunately, there are products made from malt available in veterinary centres and specialised stores that are very useful to prevent this problem. There are even specific feeds to avoid problems caused by hairballs. Another big mistake some cat owners make is not controlling their weight, mainly in sterilised animals. Castrated cats have a tendency to gain more weight due to hormonal issues, so it is recommended to provide them with a low-calorie diet. However, even if they are fed light food, you must give the cat the amount recommended by your vet. If your cat is taking low-calorie feed, but your cat is still eating uncontrollably, they will keep putting on weight. Cats are brave, self-confident, playful and affectionate animals, but they are also sensitive with particular fears and a hatred of certain situations. Do you want to know what they are? In this video from Animal Wise, we discuss the top 10 things cats hate so you can both understand your cat better and avoid unnecessary stress or suffering. Water is one of the things many cats hate the most. Even if only a few drops fall on their body, they are likely to flee in a split second. It's important to note, this doesn't happen with all cats and there are some felines who actually tolerate water very well. The reason why many cats hate water is not well understood, but one theory suggests it is due to the origin of domestic cats. As many come from desert areas in the Middle East and Asia, it is believed a lack of contact with water set their preference for generations down the line. Although a cat's sense of smell is not as acute as that of a canine, it is still well developed and they can perceive a great variety and intensity of odours. This is why they hate strong smells such as vinegar, onion or gasoline. Cats like their space and to feel free. This is why they generally dislike hugs and kisses as this human display of affection can make a cat feel trapped. Forcing a cat to do something they don't want to can lead to stress, anxiety and even fear. This can even result in aggression directed towards us in the form of scratching and biting. This does not mean cats are not affectionate animals, it simply means we need to respect their feline nature. The arrival of strangers to their territory is one of the things cats hate most. If they have been socialised since they were little, they usually don't present problems with unknown people or animals. However, most cats run and hide when someone outside the family visits the home. Cats like to feel they control the environment around them. The arrival of a stranger comes with a lot of new smells and sounds they have yet to experience. For some, this awakens their curiosity, but causes fear and insecurity in many. Screams, firecrackers, loud music, vacuum cleaners, hair dryers, storms or ambulance sirens are just some of the sounds cats hate. Their sense of hearing is well developed, making it unsurprising that noises tolerable to us can aggravate them intensely. This is another reason it is not recommended we shout at or scold a cat for behaviour we deem unsuitable. It will only lead to stress, anxiety and resentment. Positive reinforcement is both a much more humane and effective way to promote good behaviour. Anyone with a cat knows how much they like routine and are highly sensitive to change. As they need to feel in control of their environment, a sudden change can unbalance them completely. So, if you have to change something big in your house or even move to a new one, prepare your cat in advance with the necessary measures. This point is closely related to the previous one. In the same way they hate change, cats hate the surprise factor which humans often enjoy. 
You may at some point have seen videos of cats being scared by cucumbers, but what usually happens is not that they are afraid of the cucumber itself, but the fact they have been able to get so close to them without being perceived causes fear and anxiety. They may have the same reaction with any object they do not expect to see. Although it seems funny, surprising a cat is a way to create anxiety and stress, so we recommend looking for other healthier ways to have fun with them. Round, silent, slow moving and able to fly. For cats, it is difficult to understand what a balloon might be. In many cases, they are mistaken for a threat or even a predator by the cat. No animal likes to be stared at for a long period of time, and cats are no exception. With their guardians, they may not show any fear, but with strangers, they may feel threatened and react violently or flee. Cats are very clean animals, so much so that a large part of their day is devoted to self-grooming. For this reason, they need their environment to be as clean as they are. They hate their litter box to be dirty, their water bowl not renewed daily, or their toys to be grimy. Welcome to this Animal Wise video, where we bring you five tips to help you gain the trust of a cat. It is not easily done, as cats are understandably fearful of people they don't yet know. This is due to the potential threat they may pose. So, a newly adopted cat will need a helping hand. Give them time. Whenever a change occurs in the life of a cat, such as a move, the departure of a friend or a new family member, it is essential you provide enough time for your cat to adapt to this new situation. It is also important to never make the cat do anything it doesn't want to do, forcing them to come out of hiding or putting excessive pressure on them. A cat will move forward when they feel safe, so it is recommended you give them time and space. Pushing them too hard can put more distance between the two of you. Obviously, this is different in emergency situations or important times like a vet's visit. But respecting a cat's boundaries will help you make them trust you. Make them associate your presence with positivity. Your cat will be more likely to spend time with you if they associate your presence with something positive. If every time you enter their space with positivity, such as providing food, petting them respectfully or playing with toys, your cat will begin to associate these pleasant things with your general presence. On the other hand, if every time you arrive, you are loud, invasive or engaging in stressful behavior, the association they will have with you will be negative. Ensure your cat has a good time with you every day and you will see that they will start to gain your trust. Avoid punishment. Not only will the use of punishment cause your cat to create negative associations with you, it will also increase their stress and anxiety levels, make them feel insecure or inhibited, and generally worsen your relationship. The ideal when educating a cat is to use positive reinforcement for good behavior. When behavioral problems do arise, look for the cause and seek advice from a feline behaviorist if necessary. Playing games should be a daily activity with your cat. It is important to improve your bond but will also stimulate their mind and enrich their daily life. If you make a cat happy, they are more likely to trust you. You can find cat toys of all different kinds, including fishing rods, toys, and toy mice. However, we recommend you go a little further and introduce intelligent toys, such as Kong toys or those which sharpen their mental and physical reflexes. Give them plenty of attention and affection. Cats are not always grateful to those who care and protect them. They can even be unpleasant in some situations. However, if you show them indisputable affection, then it will go a long way in getting them to accept us. You can show this through unobtrusive kisses, caresses and speaking to them softly. Understanding a cat's feline nature requires you to be patient and constant in your quest for friendship. This is essential if you want to bond with a cat and gain their trust. In short, the most important thing to gain a cat's trust is to give them enough space, respect their feline nature, strive to understand their language, and provide adequate socialization. If we relate to them in a positive way and carry out daily interactions to strengthen our bond, cats will start to earn our trust. In some specific cases, you may find an individual cat doesn't make much progress. In these cases, the best thing to do is seek help from a specialist. These include vets specialized in feline ethology or a professional cat trainer. Is there anything you'd like to add to this list? 
What advice do you think is most important? It's time to get to bed, but when you finally rest your head, you find you have uninvited company. It's not that you're unhappy to share, you're just unsure why every night your fuzzy friend wants the bed down next to you. The truth is, it can be quite relaxing and pleasant to have the company of a cat. This is why we don't kick them out of the bed. But do you ever wonder why they want to be there in the first place? If you want to know just five of the reasons why your cat sleeps with you, keep watching with Animal Wise. Number one, for the warmth. Cats love heat when it's cold. Despite their natural furry coat, you'll notice they are always looking for the warmest places in the house to hide for some peace and quiet. Near the stove, between the couch cushions, or in any drop of sunlight coming through the window. That's why it's not surprising your cat looks for you at bedtime. You're a human radiator and they want to get comfortable. 2. Comfort overall. Although they are playful and can be very active at times, cats also have a lazy side and can sleep up to 15 hours a day. Although they may lie down in the most unusual of places, they'll obviously be most comfortable sleeping in a soft bed. One of the reasons your cat sleeps with you is for simple comfort reasons. 3. You provide security. Although they seem relaxed, cats are constantly on the alert. They can jump at even the slightest sound if you do something next to them. The relationship you have with your cat can be very important. They likely consider you one of the family. This means that when they sleep with you, it's a sure sign they feel more secure and relaxed. If they let their guard down and rest by your side, it's because they feel very safe next to you. A cat's innate territoriality. Perhaps one of the reasons your cat sleeps in your bed next to you is because they don't think it's your bed at all. Instead, they think it's their bed and they're the one letting you sleep there. The positive spin is that your cat has enough attachment and trusts you enough to let you sleep by their side. Number five, they love you. Yes, cats can seem aloof and independent, but it's often just a facade. The truth is they also crave company and will miss it when you spend a lot of time away from home. Cats tend to lie together in litters for warmth and company. If they snuggle against you, butt their heads into you, lick you and sleep beside you, it's because they consider you as good as a cat. Congratulations, you have the ideal relationship with your feline friend. But is it okay to sleep with your cat? Like anything, sleeping with your cat has its advantages and disadvantages. If a cat spends a lot of time outside or if you have allergies, then it's not wise to let them lie down in your bed. However, if they are a house cat, which are dewormed and vaccinated, there should be no problem. In fact, it will help strengthen your bond and can help you fall asleep more easily. It can also make you be more relaxed and make you happier overall. Remember that providing regular brushing of your cat's coat will make resting in your bed more hygienic as they won't release so many hairs. Let us know which fact surprised you the most by leaving a comment and we'll see you next time.